doing well so today i want to talk about healthy cooking method i'm not condemning any cooking method please but i'm trying to talk about the most effective way to cook our food to maintain or preserve their vital nutrients okay we have a lot of cooking methods we have a lot of cooking methods we have steaming we have boiling we have air flying we have you no know, deep flying we have barbecuing we have sauteing we have a lot of cooking methods but i'll be discussing those ones that are really healthy and then if those we need really need to do quite often yeah we can as well do other ones on occasion but there are methods that we need to cook in order to preserve the vital nutrients in our food that is just the objective just to preserve the vital nutrients so at the end of the day you are eating the right food you are eating the right nutrients you are eating the right proportion before we talk about the healthy cooking methods let's talk about the healthy cooking tips yes these are just the tips that you look up to whenever you want to live healthy whenever you want to eat healthy there are things you look up to one is that you need to eat homemade food eating homemade food will give you the opportunity to control your food to control what is being added in the food to control the cooking process to control everything about the food because get to know how the food was prepared you get to know the process of you know cooking you get to know how the hygienic environment is you get to know everything you get to know the rate of contamination if the food you know was contaminated when preparation you get to know all this but but when you like eating rest, uh, restaurant food, takeaway food, at the end of the day, you don't know what the method they use to prepare the food. You don't know how and where they prepare the food. So you're not really in full control of what gets inside your stomach. So eating homemade food is number one tips if you really want to eat healthy. So the next tips is that you should learn how to prepare your food from the basic ingredients. Right? What do I mean by this? Preparing your food from the very basic raw material. Preparing your food from the very basic raw material. What that mean? Like if you want to prepare tomato soup or tomato sauce, you don't really need to get sauce or sauce in this, sauce in that. You go for the raw vegetables or raw tomatoes, raw ginger, get them raw. Okay, it's always nice to get them raw so you know the content because most of these processed food contain a lot of other preservatives or other additives because they have to preserve the food of course so they have to add some things to preserve the food so it will help you to get be more in control if you prepare your food from the basic ingredients you will be more control of what you are really cooking with all right and then learn to measure your your stuff your ingredients something like oil you want to use oil to cook your food you don't need to Something like this oil, you want to use oil to cook your food, you should be very very careful because if you are not careful you can misuse them or you put excess quantity, yes, so you should, even cooking something like rice, in, in Nigeria we used to measure rice, yes, you measure bring out the quantity you want so that the quantity will be okay for the ingredients, alright, that will help it also to control your, you know, your food or what what you eat right so the next um healthy tips you should embrace if you want to eat healthy is to avoid too much salt yes too much salt there are a lot of things that can help you to bring out the taste in your food apart from salt salt contains a lot of sodium chloride which causes a lot of retention of fluid in our body it can also increase your blood pressure and affect some of your vital organs or even it will affect your electrolyte balance as well so learn to reduce salt intake as well then eat more of healthy fats and oil yeah we're talking about this fast and oil we have saturated fats unsaturated fats we always uh, encourage ourselves to eat more of unsaturated fats more unsaturated fats if possible like olive oil yes like corn oil eat more of unsaturated fat and learn how to read the labels whenever you're in the shops whenever you're going into the grocery learn how to read the label so you know the nutritional content what the manufacturers add to that particular goods you're buying that will help guide you to avoid you know eating unhealthy things as well then next thing you need to do is to reduce sugar intake as well reduce sugar intake Sugar, excess sugar, especially the added sugars are not healthy, are not good for us. Reduce 
excess sugar intake especially added sugar they are not healthy for our body and our for our system so eat more of natural sugar okay then another thing you need to do is that you should add more of those as vegetables this is another way of getting vitamins and minerals into your food all right so make sure that your food has a lot of fruits and vegetables like now i'm preparing stew i have a lot of tomatoes i have ginger i have onion i have a lot of them i still have my vegetables i have a lot of them to add to the stew to uh, make it more healthy to make it more rich make it more nutrient dense okay then uh, it's also very important that you avoid overcooking your meal Avoid overcooking your meal. Stop overcooking your meal because when you overcook some food, the nutrients will disappear. Like vitamin C doesn't really like heat. So when you overcook them, the raw nutrients will just disappear. At the end of the day, you are just eating shat. All right? So try and cook your food properly and avoid cooking food with very high temperature. Yes, even if you are cooking in, the, in, your, in your pressure pot, even if you are cooking in your gas, even if you are cooking in your oven, avoid using high pressure yeah because it destroys some vitamins and minerals then another important point is that you have to eat healthy food make sure that you contain all the six classes of food in the right proportion okay so let's embrace all these tips it's very healthy for us to remain healthy for us to you know so these are just the healthy cooking tips I want to share with you today and then it's very good you embrace all these it's very good you eat healthy at all times in order to remain healthy and reduce flying food yeah flying the flying is very very unhealthy in fact when we discuss the, 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 the method of cooking you understand it better the flying will cause more toxins in your body which will increase your risk of having some cancers or even some metabolic problems the flying is not really healthy so these are just the tips i want to share with you now then stay tuned for further discussion all right bye for now